Hey, what's up garden friends? Welcome again to another episode of Bear. Field Trippin'. Um, I'm out here in the garden. It's actually a little bit of a rainy day, so I didn't get to do all the things exactly that I exactly wanted to do. But I'm actually uh, running some errands and I figured I could do something really quick that you guys might enjoy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, take some cuttings of this gigantic uh, cactus back here. Um, I'm not even certain of its variety. I think it's Bertillo cactus. Um, geometricans, or I, you know, I'll look that up. You know, I'll I'll, I'll put that in, in the description below. But it's it's an amazing plant that's been here uh, at, at a family member's house for a number of years. I've taken cuttings off it before successfully. It's a really cool plant to grow and to take cuttings from. And so I don't know if my auntie's here, but I'm gonna see if I can take some cuttings today. So it's actually really easy. What we're gonna do is I'll take I'll get some close-ups to show you, but. We're gonna we're gonna only take a take a few of these. I don't want to take take too many, but we're gonna find where they connect back to the main trunk, um, and you'll see where there's a there's a, there's like a little line there, a little crinkle um, of material. And so we're gonna cut right right behind that, bring them home, and we're gonna let them uh, kind of dry out and and kind of callus over and scab up like an old you know chew, chewed up knee when you're a kid, um, because once it calluses up um, and kind of hardens up, that's gonna allow us to then put it in a nice. Know, fast draining soil mix maybe we can get some rooting hormone in there maybe we'll, you know we'll do some experimentation maybe with we'll several of them but that's what we want to do is then we'll get them to root out so let's see in this video if we can do that so uh, let me um let me get you in here let me, let's, let's take let's take a look a really tall specimen and I've actually said I've taken cuttings off it in the past you can see there's several on there it's just in a beautiful beautiful it's almost as tall as the fence just huge huge plant and so I really want to see if I can take a couple of them today um, and like I said, the, the trick is, is not putting them straight into wet soil right away because you really want that to callus over. So that way, as it, once it's hardened up and kind of healed over, it, doesn't, it won't keep rotting back. If you, if you kind of just cut it and put it right into some wet, wet soil, um, sometimes, you know, you, it might root just fine. You might get lucky, but um, in the past, I've noticed they'll just rot out and just kind of keep rotting, keep rotting um, back. And so you kind of need it to, uh, to callus up, harden up, and then you can we'll put it in some soil. So here, let me show you where, I'll, this is here, let me show you right here. And thank you for watching. If, uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons if you're here and enjoying this. So right in here is that little crease. And so I don't wanna cut on this side of it because this is like really fleshy on this side. And if it's actually kind of, you can feel it's kind of hard and woody on this side. And so that's the side I wanna cut on. Um, this, this is the main trunk. And so this can heal just fine. And, but I wanna make sure that when I take this cutting, that I'm taking enough material um, that it's going to be able to, because I feel like this is going to be a spot where it's going to be able to naturally callus over well, and then also uh, those cells will switch over and start start getting some, turning into some fine roots. And so let me, um, and then so let me show you another example. You can see this thing is huge, just a beautiful plant. I've just, uh, and actually just lately, this last year or two, it's actually put off a lot of uh, these of these shoots, these extra pups. Look at that little creature. Oh, there's a creature there. Don't get me. But uh, you can see like one of those those lines, you know, you can see right there, that those juncture points where they connect. And so that's what we're after. And so what's great is if we can take some cuttings off this, we can divide it, we can put them in some fresh pots, we can spread it throughout this yard. Um, this has some significance with some family members, I've been told. And so um, it's a really special plant to us, not just because it's so beautiful and cool and freaky looking, but because it's been passed down and shared in the family for a little bit. And so I'm really excited to take some cuttings. So here, let's do it right now. Let me let, it, let me set us up. Um, God, the trick is to be able to do this with one hand. Let me, uh, let me, let me get my tripod. Okay, so I actually got my tripod set up. I think it's be a little easier because I'm gonna need both my hands because <laughs> they're, they're pretty solid cuttings. Um, and so let's, let's see what we can do here. Um, I kind of see where we want to go. Oh man. I should have got the loppers actually. Take here and take a nice clean cut. I don't oh, want to do, make too much damage in there. So I want it to be able to heal up fast. Callus over quick. Oh man, this thing is like, woo, woo wee! Look at that thing. That thing is huge. That is one massive cutting, and I'll get it. I'll get some video of that at the end because actually I want to take one or two more while I'm doing this. Um, 
because the plant is so massive, I believe it can handle it. And maybe my aunt won't notice it. Uh, this one's not, not nearly as thick, so it should be could cut a bit easier. I'm cutting, I don't want to cut into the main stem too much. And sometimes I'll even use a sharp knife. I actually left my pruners back at work. So you can see right there. So we're going to wait until this little spot right here kind of hardens up, fleshes over. It could be actually, honestly, a couple weeks. And so I'm going to keep it somewhere cool. I'll show that here in a little bit. But we're going to protect these and keep them from, from rotting out and desiccating too much because we want to have roots shoot out of that. But look at that one. I mean, that thing is huge. That's, a, and that's the small one of the two. These are some solid cuttings and I've, and I would like to take one more, but I don't, you know, I'm gonna, I see one on the back side. I'm gonna take, so that way she won't notice it. <laughs> oh. Okay, look at that. So this one's not quite as pretty as the other ones, but it's, she'll do, and I think uh, we'll get some roots out of these. And then hopefully she won't even notice. And then an end of, and like I said, in a few weeks, then we'll put uh, put these into some some so a soil mix that drains really well. And like I said, maybe even expose them to some some rooting hormone, and then see how it goes. So here, let me show you. Let me show you this big one I got. All right. Well, today is a new day, and I was able to get my cuttings back home from this huge, huge, amazing cacti. This. Um, Murtillo, is it cacti or something or other? Geometricans or something? I gotta look this one up um, because it's botanical. But look, so what we're looking for right here, just real quick, is I I, I really need these the the connection points that I severed where there was there there's that now that open wound. You can see there's three of them. We need those to callus over, like I mentioned, and um, because if I put this right into like wet soil, um, there's a chance that that just might rot out and just keep kind of rotting back, rotting back and then never uh, getting healthy roots. Um, you might be able to put it right in, and if you did the right, if you had some, you know, there's potential there. But for me, I've had greatest success in letting these callus over, get nice and hard. Um, and uh, with the, you can kind of see it kind of get scabby. You can see how long this one is. This one right here, I, I'm gonna, dude, dudes, um, viewers, uh, this thing right here, it, it's literally probably about three and a half feet long. And it probably, with, I'm just holding it with one arm, it probably weighs probably close to uh, 25 pounds, just that one piece. So we're gonna let that one get, sometimes uh, on these smaller cuttings, when I take cuttings, smaller cuttings, you know, I do the same thing when I cut them or detach them, we'll let them harden up and get a callus as well. Uh, and then we'll put them in soil and then they'll root up just fine, um, which is great. You can see one right here that's kind of, let me see, it's already kind of done it. This one was rooting like crazy already just being near the soil so I took a cutting off that one so this one you got to just wait for that to callus over and then we're good to go but for these big ones uh, like the little ones might callus up in a couple days these ones honestly uh, when I've done them in the past they've taken kind of uh, I've noticed they they can take uh, several weeks to actually callus over and to get firm and so it's best not to rush what I'm gonna do with these is I'm actually gonna keep them um, out of the dirt and keep them dry keep them um, out of the hot direct Sun even though it's not hot right now um, it's actually kind of cool and what I'm going to do also is protect them from the rain and things I'm, I'm going to actually have them underneath my patio uh, on a metal rack with some other cuttings I've got going there and some plants but they'll, they'll stay protected there they'll still get a little bit of light but not much and then they won't get rained on um, or anything like that they won't get chewed on or stomped on or walked on because I'm, I'm babysitting a dog right now and he's big he's a big boy um, big trapper but uh but like I said they're your trick with these is just be patient Patience, patience, patience is actually a gardener's best friend. And it's always the hardest thing to do with, uh, especially for new gardeners is to be patient and just let the plants do their thing. You can see some cuttings in here, uh, right here that, I, that I've been taking and um, getting these. These are all came from cuttings. What's great, what's great about the, the succulents is, you know, you can also do the leaf cuttings. We'll do that in another video. And that's super easy as well. But for these, we're gonna let these guys harden up, callus up, and then we'll, we'll make another video to, to see if I can actually successfully get these, because this one's huge. It'd be, I'll be stoked if I can get that one to root successfully and not damage it, but uh, the smaller ones should be fine as well. But I really want to get these rooted up and that way I can 
surprise my my auntie because uh, she'll be stoked and hopefully not be <laughs> upset with me for cutting actually i know she's not she's giving me permission so it's just fun to joke but uh if you've liked this video or enjoyed it learned anything uh p please help us out hit that subscribe button so you actually you can come back and see how this ends up because uh it's gonna be weird it's gonna take several weeks but we'll get one we'll get back to you on that we got lots more to learn and do until then from our garden to yours happy gardening best wishes and i hope to have you back take care bye bye